cheating is a sensitive topic that people are oftentimes scared to talk about. Maybe because they're scared that it's too sensitive or they're worried about how you feel about it. If you have ever been cheated on, you know how hurtful and disappointing this is. From the mixture of low self-esteem to the embarrassment and the continual questioning of yourself. Am I not good enough? What did I do wrong to deserve this? Could there be something I would have done better to avoid him cheating on me? To avoid her from hurting me this bad? The questions are endless. You may also be feeling that there's something you would have done better to avoid this person from cheating on you. Know this for a fact. You cannot control someone else's behavior, especially an adult. Cheating was a conscious choice they made, and it's time to stop blaming yourself for this. If they cheated on you, that's on them, and on them alone, and not on you. This is Revolution Coaching and Counseling. Cheating is a cancer that eats up relationships and marriages. But guess what? The signs are always there. The red flags are always there. But when love clouds us, sometimes we fail or pretend not to notice them. When I speak and counsel women who are hurting from cheating from their partners, I often ask them a very sensitive question. Did you ever notice any red flag? Did you ever think he was cheating on you? And the answer is always yes. They only came to the acceptance that their partner had been cheating on them and the red flags have always been there. They only put things together right now that they are hurting. Why is this? There are always things you see and notice in your relationship and your intuition always tells you when something is not right. If we're able to identify these signs earlier, maybe we can just be proactive to stop this from happening. Maybe just then again, you will know the best way to protect yourself and also know the right decision to make. Today, I'm gonna to be discussing the seven common signs men give before they cheat on you. Number one, he acts disconnected. All of a sudden, your partner starts to act emotionally or even physically disconnected from you, unprovoked. This might be unconscious. You find yourself continually trying to get them back on track. All of a sudden, he stops to enjoy the activities you both do together. Do you both still pray together like you used to? I bet not anymore. This man is clearly fighting and struggling with the demons in him. This man needs help. You already know it takes God and a community to make men submit to counseling. Men are usually stubborn. They know it all. How can we help him? This disconnect is growing deeper and wider. Even his kids can feel it. They're suffering too. Their dad is emotionally missing from the home. I can bet that he barely even has time to look into the kids' schoolwork like he used to. Cheating is a big distraction to any relationship or marriage. Number two, he picks unnecessary fights with you. For no reason, he starts to act irritably. For something as little as you running late to make dinner, it's a fight and argument. This starts to become very worrisome. If all of a sudden he starts to pick up unnecessary fights and arguments with you, then this clearly shows there's a disconnect in that marriage and your husband might just be stepping out. This may be a crucial point for him and that marriage because he's currently struggling with his emotions and his conscience. Unfortunately, he might not even know that he's doing this. The devil in him is trying to make your relationship and marriage painful and frustrating for you. Your reaction will be a great excuse for him to go off to see the other lady. 
if he can make you feel and seem like the bad person, then his sense of guilt is off. Then cheating to him becomes justifiable. The fights and arguments in that once loving family is unbelievable. Is it worth it? Is it sex worth losing your once loving family? Think about it. Trust me, he feels guilty for what he's doing or what he's about to do. He feels guilty that he's cheating. He's currently at war with his conscience, but the lust of the flesh is real. Number three, his phone is a no-go. All of a sudden, his phone becomes untouchable. It all of a sudden feels like he's getting more happiness from that phone than he's getting from his marriage. Have you noticed his facial expression when he's on the phone? The green, the smile, the excitement? Something must be wrong. That could be the other woman on the phone with him. Maybe he's got two phones. He leaves one permanently in the car and maybe brings one into the house. He starts to walk out on you every time he makes a call or takes a call. Maybe he goes out of his way to make sure you don't see his text messages. People who have nothing to hide don't worry about hiding anything. This doesn't mean boundaries shouldn't be respected in your relationship or marriage. Number four, you're not having sex anymore. Sex seems to be off the table. Physical and emotional intimacy becomes a struggle. He no longer craves that sexual experience with you like he used to. If you're smart and you notice, these changes in behaviors are very different. If you notice, these are changes in behavior and the same withdrawal pattern. Sex is a reflection on the level of bond between partners and couples. If you once had a great sexual life and you notice this, then it should be worrisome. This is a bad sign. This is a sign of a dying relationship or marriage. That marriage needs urgent help or it will be over in no time. If your partner is not trying to fix this, then he's getting sex from somewhere else. Number five, he always tries to gaslight you. By trying to gaslight you, he likes to make you seem like the crazy one, the troublesome one in the relationship or marriage. He will go at any length to make people around you see you as crazy. Meanwhile, he's the trigger. Everyone around starts to see him as the angel and you as the crazy, jealous, non-trusting partner. His strategy seems to be working. He looks like the good guy and you the bad guy. This is a typical narcissistic trait. They always want to seem like the victim and you the abuser. He's clearly the one trying to trigger and abuse you. None of his claims makes any sense. He's trying to make you doubt your sanity and your competence. He wants you to see yourself as the trigger. This puts him in a position to continually manipulate you. This might be him looking for a way to justify his cheating and infidelity or maybe end the relationship or marriage. Number six, his stories never add up. To him, he's making sense. To us, no sense. He lies about almost everything from his whereabouts to even the friends he's hanging out with. Why does he have to lie about these things? For crying out loud, he's an adult. And I'm sure you clearly don't have him on the leash. Do you? Then why the lies? When a man keeps lying about unnecessary things he shouldn't lie about, then that's a red flag. He might just be cheating or trying to hide something from you. It might be that he's just getting into an extramarital affair and trying to master the act of infidelity. Number seven, your intuition might be correct. Women are smarter than men see them. If she feels off about something, 
she can be a great investigator. When she takes time out to put the pieces of the puzzle together, boom, you're busted. She was right all the time. Her man is having an affair. If your intuition tells you something is off, then trust it. Your intuition is a gift, so always listen to it. Whenever you feel something is off in your marriage or relationship, don't keep it in. It's time to speak about it. It's time to tell me other signs that you notice in men that consciously or unconsciously gives them away when they're cheating or about to cheat. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be there reading too. Again, my name is Mr. Revolution, and as always, I hope this helps.